the main reason is not only a brilliant artist, but he was one of the people that changed my writing as far as the complexity and the depth. I always thought people wouldn't understand. Periodic measures to say my rhymes too much. It is dope, Negro type slow. And then he had a particular song called Ain't Saying Nothing, which used these great big words to sort of not say anything while also within the verses, he was saying a hell of a lot. And I always thought that was almost like the true meaning of the word irony placed into a song. And also it increased my writing. Man to combat with the duplex powerful rhymes you get down to, get down to. Maintain a claim of wax that I astound you with to the length that the my radius. Really His word usage was incredible. On the first album, Word Power, it's just phenomenal. And he had a song called Tongue of Labyrinth. And the way he rhymed on it, the way the words continued. 14 billion cells with additional doors, a year's war. 365 days tour with my tongue on the floor. Third eye flies over top and watch the running. It changed me as far as being still up and coming MC who was doing little things, but I hadn't put any sound out as of yet. I was writing, freestyling, hanging out. Anytime groups of friends got together, you'd, you'd be busting rhymes and sharing and, and freestyling and battling each other. But I didn't have any music out for like another eight years or so. But he was my launch pad, basically. Was he responsible for his own beats as well? A lot of them, not entirely. So the earlier stuff was with Bilal Bashir and, and people like that was doing production that was down with Rhyme Syndicate. And then he did more of his own production later on uh, from the second album onwards. But now he's definitely a full-fledged producer. He ended up doing a, a remix for New Flesh for Old, Eye of the Hurricane, which was amazing because he's rhyming in the back. I remember there's like a couple of like housey dance tracks on there as well, right? Or, or yeah, I... yeah, which, which was being done a lot at the time Obviously, Jungle Brothers got famed for it. But then anyone from Queen Latifah to Kid and Play would have housey kind of things on there. Well, with Kid and Play particularly, they went with um, Washington Go Go. Another great example of that would be Lakim Shabazz's first album, Pure Righteousness. But even the house sounded more sincere than a lot of people. Because I was into house as well at the time, that was a big deal in the UK. And a lot of people would also know some of these songs, The Divine and it's The Lakim Shabazz Show. Through house, they didn't know the rappers, they just knew the track as something that would come on in the midst of a two hour house and techno set. So when Divine was experimenting with these things, it, it sounded totally natural. Like I say one thing. Wasn't he part of Quantum Projects or something like that? I don't know that he was part of Quantum in that sense. He may have done things in collaboration with them. There's something about that that sounds right. One of the last things I heard of him doing was with Everlast and uh, Sick Jack and all them. So he was doing a whole collaborative thing with them, but doing more production rather than rhyming. 